But they're jumping to conclusions. It's not a, a, a truth. It's automatically everything is is right wing. It's 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 them. It's the political opponents. That that, that kind of deranged lunacy is is dangerous. It, it, it's not you know an individual who's critically thinking or assessing information. That's actually you know the responsible adult thing to do here is wait until we have evidence. Now we're trying to weaponize everything. It could be a lunatic. It could be a crazy person. It could not even be politically motivated. It could be just some guy or some kid being like. Hey, look at what I could do. You know, just some deranged individual. Who it, knows? Who I, got, I got to be honest. It sounds more likely to be climate change activists and, and Antifa than a right winger who was upset with one drag event. Mm -hmm. You've got you've got people like Greta Thunberg. How dare you? You know, it's like they, they want to shut the power off. Yeah, they want to get rid of oil. They want to get rid of energy. They want to literally create human calamity style events that would devastate humanity, kill millions of people all because they don't like oil. Well, let me throw out a hypothetical. What if in protest to all these drag events, the right wing actually started to throw paint on classic paintings that were worth <laughs> millions of dollars? How would that be covered? Yeah, I don't I don't think anyone's happy about that, to be honest. Like, you know, they're getting mocked by everybody, the people doing that over uh -huh. the climate change stuff. The, the guy who's funding a ton of it is a massive, well-known Hollywood producer. He's put like three to four million dollars into the organization that is actually doing this there's mm. it's pretty funny and i bring that up because of the hypocrisy of somebody who celebrates art as this big hollywood right. producer and he, he, he learned how to weaponize autism and mental illness <laughs> very effectively <laughs> and these these children you know clearly show us that there's a mental health crisis clearly believe they have been so scared that the world is ending because we have politicians like aoc that go on the bully pulpit and like the world's going to end in eight years again not not even quantifying real data, not even going after anything legitimate, but just making things up out of thin air just to radicalize, just to scare people. And then we have these effects of, of it, which would bring on more pain and suffering to humanity than we could even imagine, which is crazy. But uh, it, it's interesting to see who finances a lot of this stuff. It's interesting to see the result of this. It's interesting to see the news coverage of this because, uh, you know, they've been trying to push through a lot of these lockdowns, a lot of these restrictions. They're going to be testing some of them out in the United Kingdom for many years now. They couldn't they couldn't never do it. But then, you know, COVID happened. And now COVID is surely looking like it's going away. So they need something else to, of course, bring on the trauma based mind control. I want you guys to imagine something. John Brown's raid on the Harper's Ferry Armory. He made one critical error. He let a train leave. When John Brown and his crew raided the army, they basically took it. They had it. Information could not travel. But a train was passing through, and they knew it was going on, but he let him go. The train, I think, made its way to Baltimore. I could be wrong about the details, but it basically got out, informed the authorities, who then quickly mustered up their forces, and then headed to the Harper's, Harper's Ferry, to stop this. Basically, John Brown was trying to cause like a slave uprising or something to that effect. And I'm just thinking about this. Today's day and age, information is instant. Something happens, the tweet goes out. But I'm just thinking about what it must have been like to sit, be on that train knowing you were the only person carrying the message of this attack and that if you don't make it in five hours time or however long it took, two or three hours, to the city, to inform law enforcement, they would take this city, they would have it, and that would be the end of it. It's a crazy, it's a crazy concept. Is this a metaphor for Twitter Files 2.0? No, it's <laughs> just, it's just understand how vastly different things have become and how that's yeah. having an impact on politics.